so definitely the question from my side is what is the difference technical difference right? I don't, I'm not looking for any uh, shitty reason so you can uh, just let me know try to google it or maybe do whatever you want fine so every user is having their own individual space all right so this is something uh, about your few shell features okay likewise we have couple of more features so let's say uh, the history command is just giving you the name of command it is not sharing the output for example what was the output output of cal command it is not sharing that so if you want to store you know uh, what i say command and output both so the next feature of shell is a script okay if you use script and hit enter so one file got created called typescript and now if you do like let's say cal pwd echo hello world if you want to close the recording so just do exit so the script got stopped here now in the current location a file called typescript got created if you open typescript you can see everything that we typed with the respected output is stored so script is a good option to you know create the output i mean sorry store output and the command both so it's a good one right good option you can always go for that all right so let me summarize it what we have done and what you need to focus on so simply this this uh, diagram is very useful you can just take a look so we are using shell and definitely we are using bash shell and we have seen the features and like storing history in a file size and rest their environment variables and specifically you can customize path for individual users as well all right now what if if i want to do something more so what extra thing we can do in here in the shell so there's something we call aliasing that means sometimes aisa hota hai ki maan lo koi command hai tc p dump python i loop back and many very very big command okay and definitely you want to you don't want to remember that command or you want to rename it by your own so aapke paas ek command hai maan lo cal second month 30 30 okay you just want to remember this month of 30 30 okay like this so for example uh cal 3 2020 march month i want to remember this by the name of covid so i can write this command in single or double quotes and i can write like covid so to do that i need to use alias feature aliasing means giving another name simply aapko koi ek aur naam dena hai kisi command ko to iska nickname ho gaya now if i type covid it is going to store i mean going to run that command by like covid still the original command will be working without any failure but you got another one again same thing it is going to vanish once you close the terminal 
So what I'm going to do is if I want to make it you know, persistent. So I'm going to take this and definitely under root user, if I'm root user and go there and here I'll paste it. Okay. So for this particular session it is permanent but if I close this gone now if I open the terminal it is going to load from bash rc file so every kind of temporary thing you can just check code alright <clears throat> so how you can just uh, check all aliases by alias command so we have so many aliases here this one is also here so to do the alias and if you want to just unalias it by any chance unalias covid so now for this particular session covid is not going to work okay this is the history so ye bahut C information T but it's very useful alright so share your views about this uh, alias and other bash features so if you all are okay and very much fine just say yes in the chat window okay as me kuch fast to nahi karara na but the pace is good dono ka answer aap to chat window pe de sakte hain right so you are understanding all this shell thing and please revise it without any failure because it is pretty much important for future sessions okay so number of features and number of things is there right you can use alias it's a very good feature actually very good feature so right so Shreya, i believe you can write this question in the discussion or whatever tab you have so that i can just take a look okay so now what we are going to do next in shell Okay, so there's one more important discussion, and that is type of shell, not category, right? Type of shell. So we are having two different category. The first one is login shell, and the second is no login shell. That means, let's say you are creating a user U1, okay, and you want to give a terminal access to that user, so you can always give shell guy called login. But if you want, don't want to give terminal access to that user, you can give no login shell, okay. So if I go there and create a user called u1 so by default this user is getting login shell that means if i user i log into user 1 and i can check which shell i get kind of bash so by default bash is a login shell that means we can log in and we can start working we can run commands and whatever we want to do this time i'm creating a user to and i am assigning a shell that is not going to give a permission okay so simply what i'm saying is u2 user is not allowed to interact with shell so if you try to 
log in with u2 it is saying this account is currently not available although the account is available because it's just about shell see i can change this uh, shell from user mod command from bin bash to u2 once i shell change this shell from no login to login i can log in it without any failure okay so let's say if you don't want to give a terminal access to any particular user you can always use sbin no login shell and that is the logic of no login there are other sbin uh, other shell that you can also give let's say for example i'm creating a user with s option and slash bin false right and you four so false is another no login shell i cannot log into user see still the user is root it's not u4 okay so definitely false and uh, s bin no login all these kind of shells are no login shell okay so simply you will be understanding the same that how you can maintain this okay so i believe it is very useful for example some day your user account got hacked and you don't want somebody to you know type some command from terminal just assign no login shell to that user okay so i hope this is also will very very clear okay so share your response here uh, if you are very much okay with the login and no login shell concept and this practical approach as well fine so just give your response with yes and no in case you have some question please do type regarding to this okay so i'm thinking about you know one to one pool maybe uh, a kind of group discussion so what we'll do we'll we'll make a plan for group discussion to you know answer all your questions in a particular group because in youtube it's not that much interactive to talk to the guy or maybe girl to do the same okay now time for this question so i'm going to give you another question okay about shell so what is the question definitely definitely i should do that so what is the question now for example this is my uh, server and this is my not my server this is my company server and i'm working here okay by mistakely i typed this command and i know that if someone is going to see the history they're going to ask question from me okay so how do i delete this command so the ways i can do history hyphen d and this number 251 sorry right history hyphen d and this number like 251 okay once i hit enter if i check that command got deleted but the problem is the history of this command also got created so if i delete that particular command i will get the method history i really don't want to leave any kind of surak or you know proof so that nobody can track my history the condition is you don't have to close this terminal everything must be happening in the same session everything 
and if to delete something if you are using some command the command history of deletion will also not be there right so this is the question so i believe you got the question matlab ye hai ki agar maine ek command delete ki to isko delete karne ke baad jis command ki history bani ye bhi nahi banni chahiye and the condition is you don't have to close this terminal at all ha huh. you can open another terminal like this or maybe like this you can open another terminal but you are not allowed to close the current session you're not allowed to close the current terminal so everything you have to do here okay i hope this question will be very much uh understood by everybody yes or no theek hai yadi aap samajh gaye ho to bahut hi zyada achhi baat hai and nahi samjhe to bhi bahut achhi baat hai right so okay so like every day i'm giving you a tip okay tip kya hai you can read about one more command by your own that is script replay this is very fantastic command you read about it and you will love it for example if you check the you know about pv command pv command was also very very amazing okay or no it is it will not work okay it is not going to work so vishnu is saying something so try this vishnu first and if it is all set all working then let me know so this is tip for today you can read about this command it is very awesome right okay well, guys so thank you so much for today bye bye read about this command and uh, solve this question i'll be posting some more question on the slash remote blog let me check how many of you have you know just given answer to those questions the one we posted so 47 people i don't know how many 47 comments not 47 people so whosoever are doing you guys are amazing and today i'll be posting more questions about shell so you'll be getting update by you know late night not that uh early but you can use that okay so thank you so much guys have fun and enjoy